Hey, what's up, YouTubers? And welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts collection overview video. Today, by request from a fellow YouTuber, I am going to go over my Code Red Blu-ray and DVD titles. And those consist of these three shelves here have the Blu-rays, and these two down here are the DVDs. And I do have them in numerical order because I find it easier to keep track of the movies by the spine number rather than alphabetical. I will go through and show you guys everything I have in my collection. This is going to be kind of a quiet time, chill video. I'm getting ready to go to bed pretty soon. And I find that making these videos relaxes me. So hope you guys can relax and enjoy the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those below in the comments section. And let's get into it here with spine number one. It's called the electric chair. And it's one that I put in a black case because I thought it looked pretty cool. It's a film from 1975. Region A. The next one is called Voices from Beyond. It's one of Fulci's later films, later in his career. It's a film from 1991. It is unrated, approximately 91 minutes. I believe that is all region. Next one, spy number three, is called The Nail Gun Massacre. And I do remember this one from back in the VHS days. I remember that cover very well. This is a film from 1985. And this is uncut, and I believe that is also region free. The next one here is spine number four. And this is a good little backwoods slasher called Just Before Dawn, starring the late, great George Kennedy. Film from 1981, it is all region. You get two different versions of the film on here. You get the original uncut version and the extended cut. Also, spine number four, I don't know why that happened, but we have Savage Streets, starring the beautiful Linda Blair, and also John Vernon is, is in here, and this has become a cult classic over the years. There's John Vernon right there. It's a film from 1984, and I believe this one is also region free. This one is called The Redeemer, Son of Satan, and this is spine number five. 1978, this film came out. Spine number six is called Nightmare. This is the 35th anniversary edition, uncut. Film from 1981. Spine number seven is called Family Honor, The Crime Families, Vengeance, and Vendetta. Film from 1973, All Region. Some black exploitation, The Black Gestapo. This is one I haven't watched yet. It has a new 2K Master that they did in 2015 when this first came out. It's a film from 1974, it is all region. The next one is called Weekend Murders, and this is spine number nine. Film from 1972, this one is region A. The next one is called White Ghost, starring William Catt of the greatest American hero fame. This is the uncut version. It has a, a new 2015 HD master. Uh, there's two different versions on here, I believe. You have the uncut version and the rated R version. It's a film from 1987, all region. The 
next one is a B film, kind of a drive-in style film of uh, Neon Maniacs. There's really good practical effects in here and a lot of uh, really vivid, bright colors. It's a fun watch. It's a strange movie. The movie came out in 1985. It is all region. You can see that it does have some special features. 91 minutes running time. Here is Mary Mary Bloody Mary. John Carradine is in this one. It's a film from 1975, all region. It says, uh, warning, scenes contain nudity and graphic depictions of vampire practices not recommended for the squeamish. And that was spine number 12. Number 13 is House on the Edge of the Park, starring the great David Hess, who always played a very convincing villain, thug, whatever you want to call him. He was always good at that. There he is right up top left. And this is um, All Region, film from 1985. Approximately 89 minutes running time. Spine number 14 is called Brute Core, the most expert killing machine in the world. Anything they want, they take. You get the brand new anamorphic widescreen transfer from the master. There's some commentary. It is all region. It's a film from 1971. 84 minutes running time. The next one is called Trapped starring Henry Silva. Not to be confused with Trapped Alive, which was recently put out by Arrow Video, which also was also known as Trapped, but it's a different movie, just shared the same title. This is the one with uh, Henry Silva. This one was a movie from 1981. It is all region. You can watch it in Katarina's Bucket List Theater mode, which is always fun. Spine number 16 here is a good slasher called Sweet 16. This one is spine number 16. How fitting. It's a film from 1983. It is all region. 90 minutes running time. And we have Messiah of Evil, the Second Coming. This is the 40th anniversary edition. And that is spine number 17. This guy right here, they called him the albino. He was really creepy in this movie. All region, film from 1973. And then we have the eerie midnight horror show. It says it's a must see for people who don't want to sleep. This is spine number 18. It's a film from 1981. It is all region. You can also watch this in Katarina's Bucket List Theater mode. Spine number 19 is part of the post-apocalyptic collection. And this is called The People Who Own the Dark. Film from 1975, all region. Spine number 20 is called Lady Stay Dead. Again, it is all region. 91 minutes running time. The next one is called The Cheerleaders. And this one is spine 21. A little bit of sleaze in here. Nothing wrong with having a little sleaze in your collection. Film from 1973. It is all region. 82 minutes running time. Spine number 22 is The Sicilian Connection, starring Ben Gazzara. Film from 1973. Oops, almost dropped it. Here's one I really enjoyed. This was kind of a sleeper for me. This is Spine 23 called Deadly Hero. There's a young James Earl Jones in here. He plays a bad guy right there. I thought this was a very fun watch. Film from 1975, 
approximately 100 minutes, all region. Spine 24 is the headless eyes. 75 minutes, you get two versions of the film. Film from 1971, it is all region. The next one is Zombie Nightmare with Adam West and Tia Carrera. With a pretty good soundtrack, you got Motorhead, Pantera, Girls School, and Thor. Nineteen eighty-six is when this one came out. Eighty-three running minutes, and it is all region. Spine number twenty-six is called the Vampire's Night Orgy. It's a film from nineteen seventy-four. Eighty-four minutes running time, all region. The next one they claim is one of the most violent westerns ever to be made. This one is called Cutthroats 9. This has a brand new 2015 transfer. The film is from 1972, all region. 91 running minutes. They added a lot of extra little gore scenes to it. It was a decent watch. It wasn't one of the better westerns I've seen, but it was still a fun watch. Spine number 28 is called Revenge of the Cheerleaders. Very young David Hasselhoff. Film from 1976. You get two different versions of the film. You get the anamorphic widescreen as well as the full frame. Spine number 29 is Brotherhood of Death. More black exploitation. Film from 1976. There's two different cuts of the film. You get a 77 minute version and a 73 minute version of the film. And it is all region. Spine number 30 is The Man with Two Heads. This is an Andy Milligan film, 1971. It's approximately 81 minutes. It is all region. Spine number 31, Torture Dungeon. Also an Andy Milligan film, 1970. Approximately 80 minutes running time, all region. And then we have spine number 32 called Bloodthirsty Butchers. And this is yet again another Andy Milligan film. This one from 1970. It is all region, 80 minutes running time. The next one is called The Rats Are Coming, The Werewolves Are Here. Spine number 33. And it is a film from 1972, 88 minutes running time, it is all region. Spy number 34 is Legacy of Satan and Blood. It's a twin billing. Both films are from 1974 and they are both 69 minutes running time. It's short enough to have a nice little twin bill. But they say it was uh, 138 minutes if you watch it together. Next is The Devastator, and this is spine number 35. All region, 79 minutes. It's AKA The Destroyer. And you can watch it in Katarina's Nightmare Theater. There's Katarina right there. Always fun to look at her and listen to her talk. <laughs> Next one is a part of the Roger Corman's post-nuke collection, and this is called Dune Warriors. 
It's by number 36. You can see Grasshopper, David Carradine. Film from 1990, fall region, 93 minutes running time. It is an anamorphic widescreen. Next one is called The Love Butcher. He's turning a quiet neighborhood into a slaughterhouse. Film from 1975. All region, 85 minutes running time. Pretty good practical effects in that one. Here's a little monster movie called The Strangeness. I enjoyed this one. This is called, or this is Spine 38. Film from 1980. Anamorphic widescreen, all region. 92 minutes long. Next one is called Trick or Treats. Starring David Carradine again, Steve Rails, Railsback, and Carrie Snodgrass. And this is a film from 1982. It is all region, approximately 90 minutes. Spine number 40 is called The Obsessed One. Playing a game of death with the devil. Film from 1981. Next one is called The Devil's Wedding Night. And this is spine number 41. The film from 1973. Spine number 42 is another Roger Corman's post nuke collection, Wheels of Fire. Film from 1984. I have a feeling they were kind of trying to rip off or ride the popularity of Mad Max. All region, approximately 81 minutes running time. And it is anamorphic widescreen. Another of the Roger Corman's post nuke collection, and this one is called The Sisterhood, Spine 43. It is a film from 1987. All region, approximately 89 minutes running time. And it is anamorphic widescreen. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna do it shelf by shelf because we're already at 17 minutes and I still have a little bit on shelf one to do it. It's gonna take forever if I do five shelves. So we'll just call this one shelf one and I'll finish this shelf. Here's another one called uh, Equalizer 2000, another one of the Roger Corman's post new collection. This one's Spine 44, film from 1986, all region, anamorphic widescreen with 85 minutes runtime. Next one is a Toby Hooper film called Spontaneous Combustion, starring Brad Dorif. Spine number 45. There's Brad Dorif right there, also the voice of Chucky. The film came out in 1989, and it is all region, anamorphic widescreen, with a running time of 97 minutes. Spine number 46 is called Terror Circus. Also called Barn of the Living or Barn of the Naked Dead, I believe, is the alternate title for this one. And this one is a film from 1973. It is all region, anamorphic widescreen with a running time of 91 minutes. And this is a pretty dull watch. The next one is called Retribution, The Ultimate Nightmare. This is the 30th anniversary edition for the first time on Blu-ray. This is Spine number 47, film from 1986. All region, anamorphic widescreen with 106 minute runtime. Does come with deleted scenes. There's some pretty good practical effects. Spine number 48 is called Night Child. Starring Richard Johnson. 
film from 1975. Anamorphic widescreen, all region, 90 minutes running time. Next one is called, I believe it was pronounced Shakma, but I've heard other people pronounce it Shakma. And this is a about a rogue monkey, a test monkey that goes crazy and starts killing people. Baboon. Um, film from 1989, all region, 102 minutes runtime. There's Roddy McDowell is in here on the right. Then we have a Roger Corman Presents Pit Stop. I believe this is a Jack Hill film from 1969, black and white, all region. This is the unrated edition. It is anamorphic widescreen and it does have a 91 minute runtime. Next one is called Silk and this is Spine 51. from 1986. Wow. Look at Katarina in that picture. Whew. All region, anamorphic widescreen, 83 minutes runtime. Spine number 52 is called Eye in the Labyrinth. Film from 1972. This one is region A. Anamorphic, 94 minutes runtime. Spine number 53 is the uncut edition of Knife for the Ladies. Jack Elam is in here. There's Jack right there. Some of you guys will remember that face from Cannonball Run. 1973, Region A, anamorphic widescreen, 86 minute runtime. That is Knife for the Ladies. Another one that I really enjoyed here. This one was called The Police Connection. This one is pretty raw, pretty brutal. Chuck Connors takes revenge in this movie. Neville Brand and Vince Edwards also co-star in this film. This is a good one. The film from 1972. It's all region. Anamorphic with a runtime of 93 minutes. There you can see the original poster. Here is a Fred Williamson film called Mean Johnny Barrows. This is the uncut director's edition. They call this one the Fred Williamson Signer Collect Signature Collection, Volume 1. A young Elliot Gould is in here as well. Film from 1976. All region, 96 minutes runtime. Here is the Fred Williamson Signature Collection, Volume 2, Uncut Director's Edition of Death Journey. It's a film from 1976. It is all region and 82 minutes runtime, anamorphic widescreen. Spine number 58 is called Assault on Paradise, starring the great Oliver Reed, film from 1977. It is all region, anamorphic widescreen. And there are two cuts of the film. You get an 87 minute cut version and you get the 101 minute uncut for the first time. So that's cool. That is uh, Assault on Paradise. The next one is called Maniac, A Killer, another Oliver Reed film. Actually, that's the same film, it's just two different titles. That's the same exact movie. You get two cuts of the film, it's just a reversible cover. I had flipped it, I forgot about that. So I believe it is the same spine number, because it's the same movie. So that was number 58. Spine 59 is called The Forest. Another backwoods slasher. I really enjoy these type of movies. And this is a film from 
Let me see here if I can get that glare off of there. From 1980, and this is a all region anamorphic widescreen with 85 minute runtime. So I really enjoy that movie, The Forest. The next one is Spine 60, and this one is called Devil Times Five, AKA Horrible House on the Hill. And you can see it, uh, Leaf Garrett is in it, as well as Sorrel Book, who was uh, Boss Hog in the Dukes of Hazard. This is a film from 1974. It is all region, anamorphic widescreen rated R, and 85 minute runtime. And that is Devil times five. And the last one for this shelf number one is Spine 61. And this is a Claudia Jennings film, um, Truck Stop Women. Claudia Jennings died at a very young age. There she is right there, very beautiful young lady. Very talented young actress who, who lost her life very, very early in life. Uh, it's a film from 1974. It is all region, anamorphic widescreen, and it is approximately 87 minutes runtime. So I'll do a quick pan over shelf one and then we'll end this video it's almost uh, about 26 and a half minutes so far, but I'll just do a quick little pan here. But I don't want to make these too long. So we will call that one Code Red Complete Collection Overview, shelf number one. If you guys have any questions or comments, please drop them below. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I will see you soon with shelf two.